Hello. I am joined in the studio today in lovely Vox Pop here at Assembly Row uh, with Jen Atwood, who is the director of East Somerville Main Street, and Megan O'Brien, an illustrator and artist. Welcome to you both. Thank you. And we're, Thanks for having us. We're here in the studio today to talk about and celebrate uh, Megan's brand new mural which is uh, in the Lombardi underpass. I don't know if anybody's noticed that just yet. It's brand new. You're putting the finishing touches on it now. Right now. And it's a, <laughs> as we, yeah, as we look at the paint on your clothes, yes. Um, so it's a collaboration between East Somerville Main Streets and Federal, to Federal Realty Assembly Row, um, where Megan was selected to uh, just revitalize that and paint a lot of really interesting and vibrant Somerville iconography, like Prospect Hill Tower, and I also noticed um, Powder House Tower, and Triple Decker, and the MBTA Orange Line, so you got you got everything pretty much in there. Yeah, there's and also a reference to Mud Flat uh, Pottery Studio, and uh, the Armory, which is in Somerville, very and the Bike cool. Path. There's, there's very lots of little cool. references. And it's colorful, and it, it's like geometric also, yeah. and it's it's in your signature style, which is nice. Yeah. So congratulations! Thank you. Yeah. Um, so how did how did it come about? How did how did the mural making come about? How did the process of you know getting getting this honor come about? Um, <laughs> Walk us through it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, the making process, uh, I've worked in Somerville for uh, the last decade, basically, a little over, and um, I've worked with the Somerville Arts Council, and I ended up doing a lot of posters for them over the years, so I kind of built this style, this graphic style, um, around event posters in the community. So I was making this joke recently that I haven't uh, made a lot of art that's shown in galleries, but if you go into a coffee shop, you definitely like maybe have stolen one of my posters or seen one of my posters. A lot of people from the community have them, which is kind of cool. That's great. <laughs> um, so stuff like the fluff poster, the art beat, I've, I've done um, banner artwork and stuff like that for them. So that kind of led to um, being a part of the Somerville community and creating graphic, iconic work, um, including the 175th poster for the celebration of Somerville's 175th birthday. Um, and and led eventually to the Lombardi mural. That's so, so great. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's Thanks. awesome. And uh, Jen, so what is it about um, Megan's design that speaks to East Somerville? Yeah. So the whole project, we're really excited um, from East Somerville Main Street's point of view, uh, partially because of its location. We're really happy to see that this area is being highlighted and beautified. And um, a huge shout out to Federal Realty um, for commissioning the mural in the first place and making sure our community's um, connector is looking really great. Um, but also, like in terms of like this particular mural design that Megan's come up with, we're super excited about. It. It because um, it features highlights and aspects of East Somerville and Assembly. Um, there's, uh, like Megan said, there's uh, Mud Flats featured, which is an important building historically in East Somerville. It used to be the Broadway Theater. Um, you also can see uh, pictures of Chucky Harris Park, which is an award-winning accessible park. My favorite park. park. Yeah, it's an amazing say. park. And we do park. a lot of programming in that <laughs> park, too. So it's really nice to see that that's also highlighted in the mural. Um, and in addition to that, uh, we were able to do like a community mural day. So people are so excited to have this mural come out. Everyone kind of wants to like have some ownership of it and to take pride in it and feel like it's there. So um, Megan was really great in order to help us um, kind of make that connection for the community. So we invited community volunteers to come help paint the mural last weekend. Yes, um, last which was, weekend. Yes. Oh, my gosh, that was last weekend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was just like a really nice opportunity to have people come out and like feel like that, you know, that piece of the mural belongs to them, which is yeah. really great. Yeah, so a positive community response. Oh, yeah, yeah. People are, I don't, Megan can tell you, like, when she's been out there painting, like, people are honking horns, which is kind of a little scary, but also, like, really supportive. And it's incredible. Um, like, maybe 10 people a day stop just to say, oh, my God, this is beautiful, or thank you so much, or ask questions about it. People have actually stopped and gotten out of their cars to talk to us, which oh, is terrifying. That, yeah, yeah I don't recommend. <laughs> but, um, but a lot of people have just even ask questions or made jokes um, like what are you drawing is it a picture of me <laughs> like that, there's been a lot of banter 
um, just because of where we're located at that stoplight. And yeah. then just, I, it's so actually gratifying to do a mural in that space because of the amount of feedback, the honking the horns, and this is beautiful and good job, um, is, is incredible. Like, <laughs> it makes everybody feel really good and motivated. Yeah, so, and as we've been, cool. and we've been sharing probably, the pictures too yeah. online, like yeah. people are like, thank you so much. Like, this is amazing. We'd love to see the work coming together. And yeah. they're like, when is it gonna be done? And it's like, people are just really excited. That's so great. Yeah. 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 I know the Somerville Arts Council brought some muralists to East Somerville, um, I yeah. think David Zayas and mm -hmm. Anguria. And so just seeing this nice corridor of murals, yeah. a, you're, you're now part of that tradition. Yeah. And uh, Assembly Row has continued, you know, they brought Mark oh, 27 yes. over here. Yeah. And there was another mural put in that I don't know the artist's name, but um, there's there's been a lot. That's so, so great. Yeah. yeah. And so cool. let's talk about working on a mural. <laughs> um, so like you 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 work uh, on a desktop, you know, in Illustrator, usually like small scale stuff. Yeah. So what are the challenges to having, you know, needed to change your scale the way that, that this project required? Yeah. Um, it's definitely been a different experience. I think that, you know, in some ways similar because you started, on the, I started on the computer doing a graphic. Um, but everything changed. Usually I actually work in a lot more detail and I feel like the size and the scale of the mural made me pull out a lot of detail. Mm. Really freaked me out because <laughs> it's <laughs> an ginormous piece. So, um, so I feel like I was really scaling everything up and trying to make sure it covered space, but also like you know making sure it looked interesting throughout. Um, and also, we had some stuff in the mural like uh, rust was happening, or there's certain areas where like there's more. Um, more like damage, damage yeah. happening, yeah. So the design also was altered because of things like that, mm. um, which is interesting to work in all these parameters. But I feel like it's just another design project to me, like a problem to solve. So I guess I worked in those parameters and uh, and it changed it, but similar but different yeah. <laughs> to work on a yeah. larger scale project, yeah. I mean, remember when we first met about the design, you were like worried because there was too much like detail. Like, there's so many things going on. Yeah. Um, so, but it was nice to kind of amazingly fast how it all came together and like still went up and able to yeah. capture the little details um, that captures like so much of Somerville. So the fun part is now, uh, and I had mentioned this in our initial meeting that I might add a couple of things in that weren't in that initial design that is pretty much completed on the wall right now. So like last night I got to add um, on the giraffe, which represents there's a section uh, about assembly. So the giraffe, people are, people stop on the road and they're like, why is there a giraffe? What's that about Somerville? And I'm like, Legoland. So it's, Assembly Row has Legoland. And um, last night uh, where there was no original spots in the design on the giraffe, I added spots that are in the shape of Legos. Oh, cool. oh, that's so cool. there's stuff like that, that now that we have a little bit of time and you know, I have this end moment. This is the final touches that I'm like, I want to add all of these little details, like a reference to fluff would be great. Um, stuff like that, that I'm, I'm just going to throw in there last minute. <laughs> I think, sorry, I also think it's like really creative what you did to hide the rust stains by like adding like the, the geometric element to the sides. So I think that's a really creative yeah. um, aspect that you did that makes the mural longevity last that much longer too. Test time, it, we'll see how this holds good. up. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna resist the urge like to just, as you walk by in the future, just add, <laughs> add a little I'm gonna resist flourishes. the urge. I'm sure for the rest of time I'll be like, oh, if I had only done this a little differently, you know, but it's, it's so incredible to see it up there. And uh, I just did the word welcome the other day. I haven't written to Somerville yet. Just says welcome, welcome on the wall. But I'm like, oh, I'm gonna pass that all the time. And just, I get to have this moment where I'm like, oh, I remember doing this. So <laughs> it's cool. And I hope the people who I hired to help me with the mural also feel that way. That's exciting. I know so the volunteers great. certainly yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, and the volunteers. And so what's, what's next for you? Are you going to is this a, a new career path for you, becoming a muralist or graffiti <laughs> um, artist? So I just applied for, um, Alston put out a call for murals uh, at their, they have a podcast studio over there, so they're looking for three muralists. So I put in an application for that two weeks ago. And then uh, I reached out to Malden and Medford uh, this past week just to ask, they've had recent calls for muralists. So uh, they weren't recent, like there, there are no open calls at the moment, but I reached out to them. <laughs> 
to say, hey, I just finished this mural if you're interested. Um, so it is something that I probably would definitely do again in the future, especially large scale, which even sounds crazier, but with my background in event coordination from the city of Somerville, I feel like this was just coordinating a large event. Like it was, you know, hiring, I've never hired people before, but um, not personally, I've hired them with the Arts Council. So it was just hiring muralists to help me create a 250 foot long, you know, mm. 20 foot high mural. Uh, and then getting to do a volunteer day was really important to me too, because I feel like I do want that community to be a part of it. So and I should, cool. I should have mentioned too, like um, we're really happy that you're like an artist that was able to feature on this larger scale, partially because of the work that you've already done with East Somerville Main Street, so that this is East Project. Yeah. Um, so it's nice to see not only a, lo a local artist being representative, but an artist that's done so much for the community in the yeah. past. Thank you. Know. you. <laughs> Yay. And where can people find your work? Uh, you can find my work online at my website, which is meganobrien.com. My name is spelled M-E-A-G-A-N, little bit, O-B-R-I-E-N.com. Uh, or you can follow me, same spelling, on Instagram, at Megan O'Brien. Oh, very cool. Cool. And then with East Somerville Main Streets, what do you have to plug? Plug away. Uh, <laughs> I was just going to say, if you want to follow updates on the murals progress and see pictures as it's like come together, you can also uh, find us on Facebook on eastsomervillemainstreets.org, where we've been posting updates about the about the mural project as it comes together. Um, we also have movie nights and a couple other summer events, so keep an eye on that. Cool. Yeah. So for more information about any of this, about the mural project, about any upcoming East Somerville Main Streets events, Go to the website, go visit Megan's website, go see the mural, yeah. get out there, enjoy your summer. Thank you both for coming to the studio. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you for having us. Yeah. That's awesome. And I look forward to seeing the finished mural. Yay, me Soon. too. <laughs>